J'ai le très grand plaisir de vous présenter l'une des plus prestigieuses petites formations de l'histoire du jazz. Et j'ai d'autant plus de plaisir à le faire que cette formation se produit pour la première fois ce soir en we Europe got the continentale. Jazz, we got the jazz, the jazz, the jazz Welcome, welcome to the Jazz Liberator album, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know y'all been waiting for that, right? Mm -hmm. People of the world, a little bit of jazz, a little bit of hip-hop, so uh... So this is Trey Hartson, also known to you all as Slim Kid Trey. And the topic of today is uh, the influence of jazz. Now jazz has come a long way. Back in the days there was bebop, and now it's hip hop. Jazz was revolutionary, and hip hop is also revolutionary, unlike rap. Rap's not really getting the message across Like our forefathers Like the Gil Scott Herons 
you know, that paved the way, that set the pace and set the tone. Like the last poets. All of these are great people, great minds to do things, to carry the torch of our ancestors, to let us know what's really, really going on around the world. Hip hop has definitely carried that torch in a positive way. Rap was a vehicle for stopping the violence, just as jazz was back in the days, back in the 60s, back in the 30s. Quincy Jones, McCoy Tyner, Grant Green, West Montgomery, Elvin Jones, Miles Davis, Eric Gale, Farrell Sanders, Freddie Hubbard, Billy Higgins, and Jimmy Smith, Wayne Shorter, Ahmad Jamal, Thelonious Monk, all big influences for what it is that we do and what it is that we are as we take our stance in music. Jazz was also like a secret conversation, meaning it was a universal language. So no matter what culture you came from, you would still hear the music and feel the story even if you didn't know the words. In hip hop, we have to put our all into it so you can feel the energy coming across. It's just the same as a saxophone player would play, the same intensity and feeling. That's what we're all here for, to feel that love and vibration of music, to uplift the people, to uplift the people, indeed. So that is indeed an influence on me.